Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Alt, your source for open source. Now today I'm going to talk about something that we commonly overlook. It only happens for about five seconds every time we boot our computer. I'm talking bootloaders here, specifically Grub2, and how to manipulate and change the options within it. So without further ado, let's go to Grub2, brought to you by HostGator. <laughs> Grub.cfg is Grub2's main file. It controls booting in the boot menu, but is automatically generated and not meant to be edited directly. The Grub2 files users can edit are found in two places, etc default grub to change boot menu options, and etc grub.d to edit the script files which create new menu entries when grub.cfg is generated. Let's start editing boot menu options by typing gksu gedit etc default grub. Some of the things you can change are grub default equals x number. This sets the menu entry you'll boot to by default. 0 is the first entry, 1 the second, and so on. Grub default equals save setting. This allows you to save boot choices. Combine this with adding grub underscore save default equals true to make the default boot entry change based on what you select at boot. Grub timeout equals x number. This is the number of seconds the boot menu will be displayed before booting to the default entry. Grub hidden timeout equals x number. On computers with multiple operating systems, this setting pauses the boot process on a blank screen for X number of seconds and then boots, without displaying the menu, unless the shift key is pressed. On single OS computers, the menu is automatically hidden unless you press shift. Grub underscore timeout only begins if a key is pressed during grub hidden timeout. Grub CMD line Linux default equals quiet splash. Removing quiet here will show the text output during boot, and removing splash will show a black screen rather than the splash image. You can add your own splash image by putting it in the boot-grub folder. These scripts are run by executing update-grub and are a little harder to edit, but if OS Prober doesn't work and you really want to add your own boot menu entry, this is where you do it. You'll want to use the file 40 custom as a template. And you can look at the entries generated by OS Prober in boot grub grub.cfg as examples. The name of the file determines the order in which the scripts are run, so 30 OS Prober will generate menu entries before your 40 custom will, followed by 41 custom. You'll need to make any file you create executable by using sudo chmod plus x etc grub.d and then file name. Then run sudo update grub to generate your new grub configuration. Very good! You just learned how to edit your options for a more bootalicious boot menu. And I was going back and forth on if I was going to do it, but it's an amazing quote. Software is like sex. It's better when it's free. Linus Torvalds. Until next time, thanks for watching OS All, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Now it's time for some sponsor love. Seriously though, I've been with HostGator since my first blog post in 2008. With Linux-based servers and plans starting under four bucks a month, you get 24 seven support and access to tons of website building tools. HostGator has even gone green and is 130% powered by wind energy. Did I mention they'll even migrate your current site for free? For OS Alt viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and enter the code NixieOSAlt at checkout.